What's up guys, this is Bava, getting ready to do another M14 Swiss Draft, and we're just in time, so our draft is starting, we're going to open some cards here, and we open a Garuk, Collar of Beasts, pack one, pick one, <clears throat> um, and that's a pretty sweet pick, so what else do we have in here, Flames of the Firebrand, Advocate of the Beast, um, Condor, Short Cutter, Mark, Scroll Thief. All right, so we're going to go, well, we're going to keep our options open. But Garuk is pretty darn good, even at six mana. So let's uh, slam this guy. Um, Mana Weft Sliver gives us the ramp deck, but in large is a pretty powerful card. The only problem is that it really dies to removal. Um, Not sure which one's more likely to put someone into green. Really? Do I want a little bit of ramp with the green mana? Do I want the really big? All it says is it must be blocked. I think we'll take the mana weft sliver here. I like this sliver quite a bit. Uh, we're trying to be really, trying really hard to be in green. Rather get some creatures going here. <clears throat> I say that, and now here we have no creatures, but I think I'll take the hunt the weak. Um, there's very little green removal. I do like windstorms quite a bit, um, but this hunt the weak's the less conditional piece of removal and we'll take two of them and just we gotta assume we're gonna get some green creatures here we're not that we're seeing any green creatures here um, is there anything worth picking up nope we're gonna get green creatures though we're gonna take this plummet right now and glade cover scouts not a good green creature hmm <clears throat> Windstorm, or should we start picking up Tenacious Dead and other creatures? So all creature cards, or green creature card, whenever you guys a creature spell, search. Alright. Or the Windstorm. <clears throat> Something's gonna come up. Ground Shaker Slipper. Also the Canyon Minotaur, if we wanted to go green-red, that's pretty good. Uh, but let's pick up some stuff here. Alright, so we're back at the first pack. Some good blue stuff made it around. Flames of the Firebrand is obviously gone. Um, let's take the Illusory Armor. the weirdest curve ever um, and we've got almost no creatures which Garuk this particular version of Garuk does not give you beast tokens 
you really need the creatures in the first place. Of course, the hunt the weeks one is to have creatures in the first place, too. Um, so let's start picking up some creatures. Whatever colors. I wouldn't mind being green red slivers with Garouk either. <clears throat> hmm. Nine zombies good. I don't know what's going on. I just know we got green mana. It'd be a five color green. We got Verdant Haven and Mana Weft Sliver. Yeah, let's see what we open here. Door of Destinies. Yeah, that's not super great for limited. Indestructibility. Blood Bairn, Ground Shaker Sliver, Spore Mound. Uh, Spore Mound is good in our deck. I actually really like this guy. And I'll take this over any of the other stuff here. Alright, so we'll pick up Spore Mound. To the wilds. Is that better than a troll hide? Doesn't seem like it. Alright. There's a dark prophecy. Triple black's really tough. Creatures that can't attack are pretty lame. A black creature and a white creature, though. There's a giant growth for the creatures we don't have. Um, we really need to get some creatures. Lots of creatures. I don't know here what we want to get. Um, we got the Wall of Swords. Well, there's the Battle Sliver. And there's a the Pitch Burn Devils. So I did Minotaur. Hmm. There's also a Siege Mastodon, Angelic Wall. Alright, but I'm taking the battle sliver. There's a mana weft sliver, which I'll take again. Fastwood Hydra versus Howl of the Night Pack. One large XX or many wolves. We'll take the wolves here. I love the wolves. I'll take all the wolves all the time. <clears throat> We're gonna be a big old wolf deck. And it's still Take the Academy Raider, Ground Shaker Sliver. <clears throat> or a Can 
singing in the tar. Canyon Minotaur or Regathan Fire Cat. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'll take the Minotaur here. Alright, Mono Green splashing red, just barely. Well, this started off with an interesting group, and then uh, I think that led us astray a bit. A double Garouk? Well, I'm pretty sure he's still worth it just in terms of value. But that's ridiculous. It's really silly. Alright. Um, yep, that's funny. And we've already got two hunt the week. We need more creatures. We take all the slivers. It's a blur sliver. Advocate of the Beast has no targets. Blake caster is cool. Um, I think I'll just take the blur sliver here though. A molten birth, there's a marauding maul horn, there's another spore mound. Got the marauding maul horns really good. But the spore mound's really good too. I'm gonna do a 3 3 for 5, or just a 5 3 for 4. Grab the spore mound here, I think. I really like spore mounds. Um and just rough on creatures all the way around, huh? Alright. Maybe we have enough fixing to go five colors, but I don't know. Maybe if I'd taken that other burden even we would have. <clears throat> In the meantime, let's see how many two twos we can get. How many seven drops we can play. Yes, this is pretty silly. What a strange deck this is. What in the hell's going on?
Greg's uh, worth it all by himself. Indeed. Canyon Minotaur is a good pick here. Nine bucks. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Canyon Minotaur is all over the place. to hate the blue mage when I can. Double red's gonna kinda mess up my plan a little bit. No predatory slivers. So talking someone else was definitely drafting green and taking predatory slivers. I don't even know if Garuk's worth playing here. I suppose so. just for the card draw and for the damage he takes. Why not? Let's side those out for now. We've got all this fixing. I think we play this fixing and 18 land in this deck. Uh, for those Howls of the Night Pack and for the Spore Mound. But maybe we don't. Maybe we take those out. We got mana left slivers to help us ramp. And they can ramp into any of our other slivers. Well, sort of. Plus it can land. Seems good. I don't know. This is a really, really silly deck. And I don't even know if playing those Garuks is worth it. I just took out a creature. We'll do like that instead. Um, one 
two, three, four, five, six, huh? Yep, this is a horrible, horrible deck. Um, but it's kind of funny. Let's see if we can do it. I don't know. Um, this is the 18 land Howl of the Night Pack double Garouk deck that you will never see anybody else draft. Um, so enjoy it while you can. Because it's a weird one. All right, we'll see you guys in round one. We'll see how this thing does. Um, I don't expect it to do well, but uh, hey, you never know. Get out.